Hello and welcome to our BMW 320 diesel M Sport Coupe. Uh, this is a very interesting car. Please watch the description carefully as we go around this car. It is a very, very well specced 320. So we'll start at this uh, near side corner. So uh, alloy wheel does want refurbing, but it is the upgraded wheel and uh, there's plenty of tread on that tyre there. Um, do allow for a little bit of soft preparation as we say on most of the cars there will be the odd little nick and mark on this car as we look around it I'll try and point them all out it's a little dent there um, uh, on the rear, uh, rear door and as we go around it's some very light scratches to the quarter um, and again a couple of nicks out the rear bumper but um, for a car of this age and this mileage um, I've got to say this car I think is in good order. So again, a couple of little nicks in the rear bumper, uh, on the top of the rear bumper where people have loaded things in and out of the boot. Just go in the boot, make sure I've got everything to hand. So toolkit's there, no locking wheel nut key in there, but I'll have a look see if I can see that first aid kit all intact. And then the boot tray is all present. And we've got a CD auto changer tucked away uh, in there. Okay, so as you say, um, 320 diesel, so very nice car. This is a, is a well spec. This, these are wheel, this is a wheel upgrade. Again, tyres look plenty of meat on them. The odd little nick out of that rear one, but it is, it is in good order. Um, and again as we come down the near side there's nothing from sort of three feet away that smacks that uh, you've got any significant paintwork to do and again we'll refurb there on this near side front corner and again tyre is well above the three mil now as I come round to the front uh, what stands out to me here is it's got headlight wash so I think there are Zenon headlights to the front and there are some great stone chips in, in the front the front is a bit peppered as we go across the front there and highlight those. But the spec will weigh out, will far and away outweigh the condition of the cars. Say, you know, for the 100 plus thousand miles, you're going to expect a few nicks and marks. Service history is good. So, as we can see there, so we've got full service history with BMW right the way through its life although it's got a Halford service there it's got one last serviced at 108 707 done with about 125 this car now full complement of handbooks Let's see if that locking wheel nut is around and about yeah locking wheel nut key is there in the ashtray great I always like it when they've got a locking wheel nut key so lemon leather interior uh, very light pale leather looks stunning on the car um, no obvious uh, marks on this side uh, but it does want a good clean the leather and it's got a uh, fully adjustable electric seat uh, on the passenger side with lumbar and bolster support which was an extra on this car as we come into the back again beautiful lemon leather on the door dark carpets and the leather is in good order although there are some sort of child seat scuffs and marks you might just want to get that back seat reconalized it's got ice fix child seats to the rear uh, oh, I missed that wheel off the description. That wheel is the best of them all, so I'm glad I've just refocused on that. So you've got two definite wheel refurbs on the front. You might do the one on the other side, but it is a nice presented car, this. Bonnet's a little bit chippy, but for the miles you'd expect that. Coming around to the passenger, so the driver's side, I'll just go through the specification with you. So again, we've got the, the aluminium checkered finish interior, power folding door mirrors, uh, four electric windows, that memory so full electric seats with the memory function for the driver's side automatic headlights and automatic wipers as well as this multifunctional steering wheel so it is a well specced BMW mileage on this car is exactly 125,575 miles we have no warning lights on the dash so that's all good see if we can bring up any there's a caution light there I don't know what that's for it's not a warning light don't know what that's for uh, heated seats 
and the new style of navigation on the 58 plated BM so you've got these memory buttons here which double for uh, mobile phone function and satellite navigation uh, input so looking at the iDrive there we do have uh, satellite navigation uh, there as you can see so that's all in there so full sat nav and under the armrest there we've got Bluetooth and the auxiliary function so you can plug your iPod and things into that. The other lovely feature about this uh, 320 is we've got the uh, factory fitted sunroof. The blind, I'll just show that in operation. So it tilts and it slides, beautiful. So we know that's all in full working order. Uh, also dimming rear view mirror. Um, and I think that's pretty much it on this car. Oh, cruise control down there, and you'll notice uh, there we have two keys for it. So, if you're going to buy a BMW 320 diesel, this is about the best spec you can buy. It's definitely in the best colour combination for my money. Um, and what a nice car for not a lot of money. So, as we come round, the great thing is if you own this car, it doesn't matter what they look at, it won't be as well specced. It's in the best selling carbon black. Uh, so there we go, I'll finish with last, one last long in shot of the car. Do remember the winning bidder of this car, please feel free to copy the photographs off our website and then you can get it right on your web website ready to go. Thanks for watching, bye bye.